I'm Robin Higgins, and this is the equation for the electrolysis of molten aluminum oxide. All right, so molten aluminum oxide, what is that? Well, aluminum oxide is going to contain aluminum, Al, and oxygen, and now I have to figure out how much of each element. Well, aluminum has a charge of three plus, and oxygen has a charge, naturally, of 2 minus. So to get these to balance out to create something that's neutral, we're going to have to have two aluminums and three oxygens. So we have a total charge of positive 6 and negative 6. And this is our formula for aluminum oxide. So now we're putting this uh, substance under electrolysis. So that means that we're going to take our aluminum oxide and break it down until it fall, falls apart into aluminum plus oxygen gas. So aluminum is fine to be by itself, but once you uh, separate oxygen, uh, when it's pure, it always prefers to be a dimer, so you have to include two oxygens here, O2. All right, so now we have to balance this equation. Well, if we have two here right now, so that's not correct, we're gonna have to add two here and now we have three oxygens on this side, but two on this side. So you can see how we're going to have to change the coefficients of both of these. So let's change this to three, bring it up to six, and then bring this up to two. So bring the oxygen up to six as well. Um, but now we can see that our aluminums aren't balanced because we have two here. We also have two here, which means there's four total aluminums. That means we have to get rid of our original two and make it a four. And now everything is balanced and it works out. I'm Robin Higgins and this has been What is the Chemical Equation for the Electrolysis of Molten Aluminum Oxide?